weekend as a new exhibition uh, shows topless models in more clothes than normal. We're asking, is it time for Page 3 to cover up? And we'll be turning our attention to the week's celebrity going on, uh, celebrity goings on on Showbiz Spotlight. But that's all to come in a wee while. First, Jane, you mentioned the other day yes. that your Ed's been banished to the shed. Yes. yes. Well, not banished. He just likes to visit now and again. Right. <laughs> no. Have you seen this new fancy shed? Which one? Oh, there's a yes. new fancy down shed. There we yes, go. Yes, look at that. That's not a shed. It, it looks is. A bit it's odd, called. It? Um, it's called. It's like a teapot, look. It does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an archipod. An archipod. Right? Yes, apparently, and it will set you back around fifteen thousand pounds. Fifteen thousand pounds yes. for a shed. For that lovely laugh? shed. <laughs> no, I think his head shed is fine where it is. Bit of creosoting now, and it's marvellous. I'm telling you, girls. <laughs> What's he doing there? Well, I don't like to think. Um, well, he's got electricity in there now, and he's this you one know, has electricity. Has it? Yeah. yeah. And he's got his own little workbench. In has fact, he got a workbench. And a DVD in it there. will have in there soon, I'm sure. Hey. You know, a little bed. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's got his own armor and everything in there. Yes, he has told me. Yeah, he's got to. He's now told me I've got to have my own shed, so I might actually get that. You can get his and hers as well. His and hers shed because I've got the barbecue in there and the little, you know, the the loungers for outside and things. And he says I want all your stuff out my shed. So it's my stuff. It's our stuff. Yeah. Marvelous. Okay. Now dieters, listen up. A new aerosol's been developed that sprays particles of dark chocolate onto your taste buds to satisfy cravings. Its inventor says when you breathe the chocolate into your mouth it dissolves immediately and coats the tongue and the taste buds we taste it without chewing to get the experience of the flavor without eating a single calorie let's see what he did there so um do you think this would work for us or linda if you have one little bit does it always leave you wanting more god if you believe that you believe in chocolate teapots wouldn't you um no good for me at all i'm afraid why well i can't do that it's it's one an all for one. It's you know straight it's down. All yes, or nothing, can't be it? a piece of chocolate whole bar. Don't drink wine anymore. But it can't be a glass. Has to be. But and you know never mind a kiss. It would have no point in going the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, well, I haven't got time to spare now. No, <laughs> you can't yeah, stop. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like chocolate, so that wouldn't do that wouldn't do me any good. I don't I don't really like it. But um, there are some things that some the smell is so much nicer than the actual taste. Mm. But some things you can't resist, and I, I don't eat a lot of junk, as you know. Mm. But you know when you go to like the fair or to football games, mm. and they've got those burger vans with those horrible burgers in, and the onions, it's the smell of the fried onions. I can't resist it. And I have to eat them. I always makes me feel a bit sick. I know. I don't like the no, smell of that but at the all. smell, it reminds me of being young and being at the fair, you know, yeah. when you just used to eat things like that. So I, I absolutely cannot resist them. But once you've, you know, you're quite controlled, really, in terms of, you know, that the spray apparently is to, it satisfies your craving without meaning you eat the whole thing. I mean, you're, you're quite controlled. You only have half an apple in the morning, don't you? Yeah, but that's because I can't manage a whole one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to put it all in at the same I time. Can't eat, I can't eat a, eat a whole up or I save the other half for the next day oh, bless. because I drink so much fluid in the morning but yeah I'm quite controlled I used to be you know sort of eat one biscuit eat the whole packet but now that just doesn't make me feel very good so I don't do it I but do I it am anyway. kind of I succumb mm. to my taste buds sometimes or my smell buds if you like yeah. mm. no, no I'm, I, you know I don't eat chocolate yeah. anymore because I've had that hypnotherapy how long's that been it's been uh, ooh, nearly a year now I think mm. and I've have not had any chocolate I've, every now and again I've tried a little bit just to see if it still works but it, it I've I had to go and spit it out. It tastes horrible. So I've replaced it with jammy dodgers. Oh. <laughs> and I now eat oh, packets and packets and packets of biscuits well, until I feel sick. Well, you're going to have to have it done now for them, so aren't you? Exactly. Yes. It's I've just replaced one with another. Yeah, you see, I, I'm all right. I'm, I'm OK. I've, I've, I've got the cut-off point in, in mind. I can have one chocolate, whereas my mother... In fact, mother, put them down. Just put them down now. Oh, walk gosh. away. If we open a box of chocolates, I can have one. Yes, I know. There's a lot of people <laughs> like this out here, isn't there? I can have one and, and I can leave the box then. Yeah. But my mother, if it's there, she just, it's like going, 
Jean. That's what I thought. Eat me. <laughs> so Tidy I'll up. Resist. It's a whole resist. packet, then they'll all be gone. That's right. Yeah. So you say I'm all right with that. I can have one glass of wine. I can have one chocolate. I can have one kiss. Oh, Jane McDonald. Oh, if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, going back to what you were saying, you know, in terms of, you know, when you go to footy oh. matches or fairs or whatever, and there's things that you smell that mean you, you know, you, you can't resist it. Apparently, there's a supermarket that um, has brought out. It's kind of like scratch and sniff stickers because you know a lot of the supermarkets now they sell flowers before they've opened so you don't actually know what they smell like until obviously you've got home so i mean would would that work for you if you if you've got to smell something first and what can't you resist other than nasty tacky apart from burgers thing? well you know i was in morocco recently and you know when you walk into the spice markets mm. and you just smell those spices well i tell you because <laughs> you, you don't realize that when you buy spices here you buy like two or three grams or something like tiny little you know bot bottles yeah um and we just went a bit mad and we came back with like a, a giant carrier bag full of spices. You know when you think you only use a pinch of it? Yeah. You think, how long is it going to last? But because it's like in the kitchen, still in the carrier bag, the waft of it, oh. it's like every time I walk into my flat now, it's like I'm in Morocco. Oh. I'm in a spice market in Morocco. So, Are you yeah. cooking then? Me? No. No. <laughs> No, Mark's doing the cooking still. Yeah. yeah. You see, I can't pass a chip shop if I smell fish and chips. Oh, it just lures you, isn't it? And and it's you actually, it's gorgeous. And you you actually imagine the taste, don't you, of vinegar and salt on mm. batter. It's mm. the batter. Mm. You see, I could do it now. I could do it now. Oh, a penny was a crack. Get, from get some shop. scraps. Yeah. On. Scraps. <laughs> scraps. <laughs> Yeah, getting worth cracking down south. Is that what they call it, crackling? Yeah, crackling. Oh, it's off pigs up now. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I am um, actually talking about things that make you want to eat. I, but one of the things that was in health farms. I went to an amazing health farm once where they covered you in fruit, and I'd been starving myself for three days. Well, she's got this fruit on me, and I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, I could eat myself. <laughs> I've heard that about you, Linda. <laughs> I know, I like it. But leather does it for me. Oh. Leather in new cars. That would make the smell of new oh, leather would yes. make me buy mm. a new mm. car. You know, I could be. I guess I could. <laughs> I could be like a new car. I could have a perfume and say I could take you for a ride. Oh, yeah. Linda Bellingham. Well, you know. I do know what you mean. I like the smell of new books. You know, when you go into a bookshop, it's all crisp and clean, and you, you know, you have to furtively look around and go. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a shop that only sells cheese? Oh, no. That's always rather... It's, uh, honestly, if you walk past them, they just smell of really bad trainers. <laughs> like, oh, smelly oh, feet. Worse. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but the smell is so delicious. I go in and, and then I buy loads of cheese and end up not eating most yeah. of it because yeah, I can't just, resist it. You put it next to your spices. Put it next to spices. <laughs> <laughs> just like cheesy spices just everywhere. Just Mark's trainer. It's a lot cheaper. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Jesus just bring them in from the outside. Jesus smell like the camels and you're really in Morocco. Yeah. <laughs> right, time to consign.